Hi folks, Peter Hill, field agronomist, Pioneer. On the last video, we talked about the general shape, the health of the root system and what you should be looking for. Now let's talk about the major role of the root system, taking up water and nutrients. So obviously the large roots compared to the fibrous roots have a lot of surface area to them. So how many of them per node, how deep they go is pretty important in terms of being able to take up a lot of water to support the plant, right? Through transpiration. Now, if I think about nutrient uptake, nitrogen is that one uh, nutrient that it's usually required in the largest amount, but how does it move into the plant? So almost any form of nitrogen ultimately gets broken down to nitrate, which has a negative charge. Your soil usually also has a negative charge. So it's not bound to the soil particles, rather it's usually in solution. So that's how after heavy rainfalls, we can lose a lot of nitrogen down through the soil profile. So the way nitrogen is taken up is mostly through mass flow of soil solution into the roots. Phosphorus though, on the other hand, is usually held tightly to an individual soil particle, especially in high pH or very low pH soils. So the only way to really take up phosphorus is to intercept Right, what we call root interception, where the root physically intercepts, moving down through the soil profile, literally rubbing up against the soil colloids, and then taking up the phosphate ion. So that's how that happens. And then usually with potassium, it can happen both ways. So the health, the volume of the root system is pretty important for taking up mass flow, nitrogen, or through root interception, primarily for phosphorus, and both ways for potassium. Hope, hope you enjoyed and hope that helps in your understanding of the root system, nutrient uptake. Thanks. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.